Be right with you. Hello to everyone that joined. <laughs> Thank you for the little, oh, I see a little angry face there. Sorry, I'm pissing somebody else off, but uh, hey, you're still loved. Thank you everyone for joining me. I see uh, a bunch of people here, Claudia, Dummy, Norma, Lynn, and Eva, Wendy, Candy, Claudia. Namaste everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. So right now I'm just sharing the live video on the N5D Facebook page and the Body, Mind, Soul, Spirit Facebook page. So just give me a sec. So yeah, it's it's been a while since we all got together here. So namaste. I love you guys also very much. And thank you for joining me here. There's a lot of big news I want to cover today. But first, you know, before <laughs> well, I published that article earlier today on in 5D, and it's called Breaking News, It's Over, Sealed Indictments Now Unsealed, Takedown Imminent. I'm gonna be talking about that. I'm gonna be talking about um one of uh, QAnon's latest posts, which is very interesting and stick around for that. And also the waves of energy that are still going on right now. Uh, so let's, let's jump into it. So yeah, I went to the beach for like an hour. I just got back like five minutes ago. There's probably still sand on my toes, but um, yeah, I went there and I'm just, uh, you know, I'm, I'm preparing for this Facebook live, just writing down little bullet points and stuff like that. Because as you guys know, I just wing it basically. And uh, so I'm sitting there and uh, I'm trying to write down some notes and just thinking and grounding. And as people would walk by, there wasn't a lot of people on the beach. Um, it's it's pretty, pretty empty, which is weird for it being April 7th. But on occasion, somebody would walk by and they'd say a word or, or several that were just so synchronistic. Now, WebBot Cliff High talks about linguistics and how certain words are picked up all over the internet. And it's basically what our global consciousness is trying to say to us. So, what? and this is what I was thinking while I was sitting on the beach. So what I got, somebody, this one guy walks by, two guys are talking to each other, they walk by, the only thing I caught from him was big wave. I have no idea what it was in relation to, but that's the only thing I heard was big wave. So I thought that was pretty interesting. And a another uh, couple people walked by and I heard this one guy telling his wife, big things are changing. <laughs> so, I mean, what are the odds of picking this up where I just happen to be, they just happen to be walking by and just happen to be saying all this stuff. This is the global consciousness that's speaking to us. So pay attention to what's going on in your world around you. Oh, there was a little boy too. He goes, I'm going to ride this wave. <laughs> I thought that was really cute. So while people are filling in here, I just want to talk a little about a couple things. Um, let's see where are we at right now. Oh, wow. We've got 133 people here. Hi. <laughs> Namaste, everyone. Um, I made a post last night on my personal Facebook page, and 
it was about the movie Rockstar. I don't know if you guys have ever saw that movie, Rockstar, but it's really cool. And it tells a really important message. Um, basically, it's a story about this guy who played in a Steel Panther tribute band. And, uh, and they were kind of going nowhere. They were trying their hardest to do what they could do. And uh, eventually, the, the lead singer of the Steel Panther band got kicked out of the band. And this guy, whose character is played by Marky Mark, um, his name's Chris, uh, in the movie, he ends up getting the job as the lead singer for Steel Panther. And to make a long story short, it wasn't all it was cracked up to be. Um, the whole side of rock and roll and, you know, the, the drugs and the alcohol and all that crap. Um, and he ended up making himself miserable because he wasn't doing what he wanted to do. So he ended up uh, leading the band in the middle of a show. He quits the band because there was this guy that was in the audience and he was singing incredibly well, uh, but an octave higher than what um, Chris was singing for Steel Panther. So he brings him up on the stage. And they, they, in the middle of a song, they start singing together. And then during the gu guitar lead, they both go off stage and um, Chris ha ends up handing the microphone to this kid who ends up taking over. And then he ends up moving to, I think, Seattle and starting his own band, writing his own music. Now, why am I saying this all? It's really important. Uh, he ended up following his dream of writing his own music and being himself instead of pretending to be what society expected him to be or what his fans expected him to, him to be. And I've been saying this all along for many years. Most people will go to their graves pretending to be what society expects them to be, never knowing who they truly are. So, you know, if you're one of those people, you know, dig deep within, chances are you're not because you're on here listening and you're already awakened. But <laughs> But if you are, um, and you know, it's the first time you ever heard of something like that, you know, look within, you know, ask yourself, if there was no such thing as money, what would I be doing with my life? And that ultimately will probably lead you to exactly why you're here and what your purpose is. The bottom line is <laughs> don't dare to be different. Dare to be yourself. Okay. So, and then funny, uh, I was walking back from the beach. And there's a, a neighbor um, that is just, you know, a couple houses away. And he goes, are you in a band? Because he sees me out there playing guitar on occasions on, on the beach. I go, uh, I used to be, but nothing major. <laughs> but what I should have said, yeah, I'm in the band in 5D. Look us up online. I should have said that. I didn't. So anyway, so where are we at here? I think, I think we can start getting into this uh, right now. Uh, well, also, you know, because I'm, I'm, I'm mentioning Q, um, I'll put a link in the video when I get done for QAnon. He's got two websites. One is, uh, well, he, it's it's websites that are run that show all of his posts. I don't know specifically if he's running it or not. But one of them is QAnon.pub. And the other one, where is it? QAnon posts. Dot com. So check those out. And I check them every day. It's really exciting to see what's going on because what's happening is, you know, the swamp is getting drained and uh, there's a lot of people that have been very corrupt that have not been working in humanity's best interests throughout the years. And uh, these people are being rounded up basically and with, through all these indictments that are, are coming out. Um, Matter of fact, you know, getting back to Q um, and what he was saying, check every day um, for updates on your favorite websites uh, because things are happening fast and furiously. So, and what I re remind people to do is to start looking for alternative social media websites because, and I'll, I'll explain this a little later about the QAnon post, some of these major websites might be going down. So you can find N5D on MeWe, uh, Informed Minds, or Informed Planets, informedplanet.com, uh, Minds, and Gab, and a bunch of others. I'll put a link for that right here, too. So well, oh, one last thing, too. Um, when you're on N5D, subscribe uh, to our updates so you don't miss a thing. Just in case these social media websites get shut down, you'll still have our updates and I'll 
continue working 365 days a year to bring you all the best. Okay, now this all ties in, everything I'm gonna say ties into Pluto and Capricorn, so I gotta tell you guys about it right now. You know, and, and you'll see how it all ties in. Uh, Pluto entered Capricorn in 2008. It, uh, right on schedule in 2008, we saw the, the banking collapse here in the United States of all these banks, except for the too big to fail slash jail banks. Pluto stays there in Capricorn until 2023. And in the meanwhile, what we're seeing is a collapse of money, government, and religion. Why? Because these are not in humanity's best interests. Pluto's known as the destroyer, and that's what it does. It tears down everything that's not in humanity's best interests and gives us the opportunity to rebuild it in humanity's best interest. Um, the last time that Pluto was in Capricorn was during both the French and American revolutions back in the 1700s. So this is a cycle that it's not very common, but it stays there for quite a while. Like I said, from 2008 until 2023, we're already over the apex and we're gonna continue to see things ramping up right now. These people that have been working against humanity's best interests will have to be held accountable. It's just the way it is. So, on the article I released today, it's really excited. This, this guy, David Seaman, he said that he's physically seen an unsealed indictment. This is huge. This is really, really, really big because, you know, we've heard and we've heard and we've heard, you know, there's excellent, no, I think there's 25,544 sealed indictments as of March 31st, 20. 18, and I posted this on my uh, personal webpage on Facebook. You can check it out there. You know, hat uh, tip of the hat to Jordan Sather for bringing that up. Thank you, brother. And uh, there's all these, but now we finally have evidence of they've been unsealed. And this is huge. You have to think about this with the bill that was just passed by Trump, the omnibus bill, a lot of people bitched about it, but what it actually did was give money to the military to start doing the rounding up. And it's not gonna be, I'm, I'm guessing, it's not gonna be held in a traditional court, it's gonna be held in military tribunals, which will exp expedite the process a lot quicker. So that's, that's why I think the, what was it, $700 million was um, allotted in that bill. So that's why we're starting to see stuff right now and you know, and the skeptics are saying, oh, I'll believe it when I see it. Well, open your eyes, it's already happening right now. We're just not seeing it immediately here in the United States, but it's already happening all over the world. And here's some great examples, I wrote them down. Uh, well, first of all, look at the number of uh, CEOs that have resigned and politicians that are, have stepped down or are not gonna be seeking a, another term after um, this current term. This is all what's happening right now. All these people are part of it. Well, not all necessarily, but I would say a good portion of them, at least 90, 95% of them. So there are cases uh, that are going on all around the world of these world leaders that are being arrested. And here, here's, here's just some of them. Right now, there's three cases of corruption against Benjamin Netanyahu in Israel. Uh, Zimbabwe's Robert Mugabe was, was taken into custody for corruption. Lebanon's prime minister was detained. Former French President Nicolas Sarkozy, Sarkozy was arrested as well. So this stuff is happening right now. It's happening as we speak, and it's going to be happening right here in the United States as well. So exciting, exciting, exciting. Um, there's something else I want to say too here. Um, in one of QAnon's recent posts, I'll hold it up here. Um, I posted this on my N5D um, Facebook page as well as my personal fa Facebook page. This is a big heads up. Now, see that there's the the fake push by the mainstream media, uh, videos back up, and all these other websites that may be going down. And notice underneath there, net will be paused on the clock. So what Q is 
perhaps hinting at is the net will go down and some of these major social networking sites may not be any longer. So that's why I encourage you guys to go to all these different social media platforms. Once again, I'll list the link again right here in the chat, um, showing you the places where you can find N5D and the places that I go, such as MeWe. I think that's probably the best alternative right now because you have a live chat and I have an N5D Facebook group page there too. And by now, gosh, we have to be over a thousand members already. So, you know, thank you to everyone that's joined and I look forward to seeing the rest of you there. Um, Gab is an alternative to Twitter, but it's even better because you can actually do live chats like this on Gab and that's Gab dot of all things AI, but <laughs> Gab dot AI. Um, Steam it is another place where you can find in 5d uh, informed planet and minds. Um, there's a couple other ones too. Like I said, I'll, I'll leave the link here, um, to, but make sure you start seeking us elsewhere other than necessarily here. <laughs> okay. Um, bear with me for a second. Hang on. It's like 77 in here. Normally I like it hot, but this is too hot. I'm sweating. <laughs> so anyway, um, what I want to get back to too is some of the things that uh, this guy, David Seaman said, he, he was talking about when asked if it will be two more months until we start seeing the results of these um, sealed indictments, well, unsealed now, he said, no, pretty much imminently. This is all happening now, between right now and two weeks. So we're at April 7th. So I'm guessing by April 21st, we're gonna see a lot of stuff go down. Um, now, don't shoot the messenger. <laughs> this is somebody else that's saying it, but I believe him. I, I've been watching this unfold and build up, and I, I truly believe that's what's happening. He said that he saw the sealed indictment with his own two eyes. And this is in his own, own words. I saw it with my own two eyes, my own two hands holding it, an unsealed indictment of one of the major people involved. Until that moment, I couldn't be 100% certain that the job was done. So this is physical proof, guys. So it's happening right now. One last thing, though, I do want to talk about, too. He was talking about... Um, that chemtrails and GMOs will no longer be tolerated. And he, he said that a lot of people are noticing that there are no longer chemtrails in the sky. I wish that were true here in Florida. I just saw a bunch uh, the other day, but um, maybe that's, it, it is all coming down to the end of the chemtrail program. Let's hope so, because yeah, obviously that's not anything that is in humanity's best interest. And it's basically weakening our immunity system and amongst other things. So. So when QAnon posts, you know, we're, we're, we're looking at the draining of the, the swamp, but this isn't just the swamp here in the United States. This is a global swamp. And like I mentioned, uh, we're seeing world leaders that are already uh, being rounded up, just not here in the United States yet. Should be happening soon now. Um, and just shout out to everyone that's here once again. I see uh, a bunch of people that are here right now, uh, Nan, uh, Linda, Brandy, Bridget, Tammy, Alice, Nikki, Brandy, Linda. Thank you everyone for being here. Um, here's a question. When does Australia get rid of our prime minister of corruption? That's a great question, Kay, because um, one of the things that this guy David was talking about was how, who is it, actor Matt Damon fled to Australia, uh, assumedly to um, seek cover. And um, he, from what I understand, he's associated with Harvey Weinstein, uh, the pedophile. You know, he's friends with him. So um, he's got his butt out of here. 
So, and this was in the article, Siemens stated, according to QAnon, that founder of this platform that I'm talking on right now, will be stepping down and is going to be leaving the United States, which Matt Damon recently did. So despite Snopes, despite Snopes debunking the fact that he left because of all this pressure from pedophilia and Trump and whatever, um, he went on to say Matt Damon, an A-list actor connected to sexual predator Harvey Weinstein, left the United States for, I believe, Australia with his family, which means his career is over. So what that tells me is that there's some corruption going on in Australia as well as here. I know that you guys have had the same issues with you know, chemtrails, and there's a lot of similar issues that you guys are, are dealing with there as well as we are here in the United States. But like I said, this is a global draining of the swamp, and I, I, I'm sure that Australia won't be left behind Okay, and I'm just kind of like looking over if you guys have any any questions in the meanwhile. Um, hi, Melissa Francis, Carolyn Murphy, Stacy Brooks, T. Hilliard. I'm so glad everybody could join us here. Um, okay, moving on. So what I was getting to back here with that Q post was that he was saying that the uh, internet might be temporarily shut down. What I would recommend, if any of you guys out there have a YouTube channel, is to download all of your videos and get them saved on your hard drive. Okay, I did that. I've got over 400 videos on the N5D YouTube channel, and I downloaded them all to my hard drive so I can upload them elsewhere. <laughs> There's a place called DTube that I'll probably bring them all over to. But uh, make sure you do that just in case that gets shut down. So you still have a copy of all that. Um, and if they only shut down, <clears throat> excuse me, if they only shut down just the um, certain websites like, I'm not going to mention them audibly, but like these. <laughs> then you, you still would be able to get your, your news from your favorite alternative news websites like in 5D. Uh, so what I would recommend is that you subscribe to any of your uh, favorite websites, get an email subscription. That way you constantly have the news coming in, whether these sites are shut down or not. And you'll find like uh, on N5D, if you're on a laptop, you'll find the subscription in the upper right hand corner of every page and at the end of each article. So I highly suggest that you subscribe to your favorite websites. Make sure you include in 5D too. Whoops, it's up there. <laughs> okay, um, like I said, if you have a YouTube channel, download your videos, make sure you have them saved. And gotta bring this up, prep. You know, make sure you have a short-term supply of food, water, basic uh, medical needs, stuff like that. Um, because people could feasibly panic, you know, if the internet gets shut down and they'll run to their bank and start pulling out money and there could be a bank run. I'm not putting that intention out there. I'm just saying it could be, it could happen. Let's hope not, but just, just be prepared. I'm giving you guys a little heads up here. Okay, so I'm glancing over, seeing it. What about corruption in China? Uh, Robert's asking. Um, yeah, there, right now, from what I understand, there's a little showdown going on over um, off the China Peninsula between the United States and China. I just heard that on the news this morning um, on YouTube. I don't watch CNN and all that crap. I don't watch the mainstream media news, but I, I do subscribe to um, alternative news websites. So yeah, there, there's a, a showdown going on right now because uh, apparently, uh, the United States um, is, I think, giving tariffs on exporting, importing, all this stuff, and it's costing a lot more money. They're, we're trying to get everything made here instead of sending all our business elsewhere, elsewhere or buying all our stuff from other countries. So there's a little, and China's not happy about it. So there is a little showdown going on right now. It's kind of like, you know, the peacocks, you know, 
showing their feathers right now and hopefully nothing will come out of it. Uh, what we do know is that we have so much protection. There won't be another World War III. There will not be another nuclear war. That's not going to happen. So don't worry about that. It's all coming down and um, it's all being divinely orchestrated. So there's really nothing to worry about. I, 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 you know, honestly, I would rather spend more of my time working on inner work than worrying about what's going on elsewhere, even here in, in the United States. But this is just the tip of the iceberg. And what if we're seeing is part of what's going on with the global consciousness. There's a huge awakening. Even Q talks about that, the great awakening. Um, it's happening right now. People on the beach, we're talking about the waves and <laughs> big changes going on. It's happening. It's happening right now. So. So, okay, I'm just looking for any more questions over here. Um, what I want to talk about now is the waves of energy. Now, we all heard from Alison Cobb, and her clients were telling us that they, there would be these uh, waves of energy by, by the end of the first quarter at the end of March. Don't shoot the messenger there either. Allison's a great woman. She's just reporting to us about what she saw. And you, you got to keep in mind, too, that anytime a date's put out there, anytime, things change. Every millisecond, timelines are changing. This is why we see the Mandela effect. We're constantly seeing the Mandela effect going on as these timelines are merging closer and closer together. There's fewer available timelines. Well, that was a timeline that just didn't happen to happen. And I'm, I'm totally cool with that. But what's happening right now, you know, I've been posting energy updates on my personal Facebook page. If you're not following, following me, do so. Check it out. Because um, chances are a lot of you are going through the same thing. And when people comment on these, it shows us that we are not alone with everything that we're experiencing. And I'll tell you one thing that I've been experiencing recently. I'm wondering what's happening, but I'm not sure. But uh, these waves of energy that are going on right now, the last couple of days, if you haven't felt them, you either have your head buried in the sand or you're just not paying attention to your body because th there's been some immense energy waves that have been, been happening. What I've been feeling myself, it feels like, to me, like both hemispheres of my brain are merging together. They're becoming one. And shortly afterwards, I'm getting extremely tired and I'll end up taking a long nap and then going to bed early on top of that. And I know a lot of us have been doing that as well. You know, the, the extreme tiredness um, of what's going on. You know, another I haven't talked about this or written about it, but this is this is strange. And I don't know if any of you guys are going through this, but my ears have they're like leaking liquid. It's not it's not earwax. I know it's kind of gross, but it's not earwax or anything. It's just liquid. It's clear liquid that that's coming out. And like if I try to sleep, I'll hear like this suctioning sound where I got to actually use a Q-tip and put it in there. And this is a new one for me and I haven't heard anyone talking about it. So let me know if you guys are experiencing that, too, where you're getting some kind of liquid discharge out of both ears. I've never had this before. And I know it's as gross as it sounds, we got to talk about, we have to talk about all the, these symptoms. And speaking of which, my friend, um, Rosie Neal wrote an article about these spring 2018 Ascension symptoms. But first, before I get to that, I, want, I just want to touch on Fleur Brune, who last month, and we have the article on several articles on N5D, last month was talking about how she did see these rainbow clouds of energy, and they're already here, just that not everybody's seeing them. Other people have admitted seeing them, but she said they're already here. She's seen them. She reported on it immediately, and that's why it's so important for you to um, journalize everything that you're going through. Put it out there on your Facebook page or website or whatever, because I guarantee there's other people that are going through exact the exact same thing that you're going through. Chances are I'm one of them. <laughs> so anyway, this is a so these are Rosie's um, 2018 Ascension symptoms. I'll just read them off to you and let us know if you have, have experienced any of these, too. OK. OK, you will eat less, sleep less. And for others, having going through big changes with 
the mitochondria, RNA, and, and DNA, they will need more sleep. Eating less is something huge. I, I, a lot of us have, it feels like, it feels like you're constantly full. You don't really need to eat. It's, if you're going to eat, it's just out of like, well, you know, I'm typically eat like right now, but I don't know why I'm eating. I'm not really hungry. Are you guys experiencing that? I am. You will number two, you will have great difficulties digesting food. You will eat something and may have to lay down just to digest it. So maybe that's what I was just talking about. It just kind of sits there in our stomach or something. It's just a constant feeling of being full. You know, I'm feeling that big time. And I'm looking over here. Chris, uh, Kristen Freeze is saying my ears have been doing the same. Thank you for the confirmation. Um, and I, I don't know, I haven't noticed if other people have been, um, and there's Claire. Yes, me too. Total, totally the same from Janine with my ears. Yes, ears stopping and then popping and leaking. Wow, what's going on, guys? Let's figure this one out. Thank you, everyone, for the confirmation on that too. Number three, it will not be uncommon for the body to have symptoms that will be in alignment with multiple sclerosis. Now, I don't know the multiple sclerosis symptoms. Those are something you might wanna look into. Number four, your body will change. You may put on more weight, even though you aren't eating, so the body has more space to retain more light. Ain't that the truth? I'm hardly eating anything at all. I, I think I weigh the most I've ever weighed, ever. <laughs> So I'm just putting on weight. I don't know how the heck I'm putting it on. I'm not eating anything and I constantly feel full. So are you guys experiencing that? Are you putting on weight for no reason whatsoever? Oh, Blake Mur uh, Mani says, I saw the rainbow energies upon awakening about two weeks ago. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you for that confirmation. Oh, you're welcome, Nikki. Nikki says, Greg, eight years ago, N5D helped my awakening process so much. Just wanted to thank you. Thank you, and thank you, everyone, for being part of the N5D family. I love you all. Moving on, number five, there will be a great deal of migraines and sinus issues. Do you ever notice that, you know, your nose just stops, starts dripping for no reason? You know, here in Florida, well, you know, maybe it could be seasonal you know, spring's going on right now, but uh, it's always summer here. <laughs> I don't really see any spring here. And there's no reason why, you know, you get drippy nose, but I just had that yesterday. Thank you, Linda. So please send, uh, send that, that video. Thank you. Okay, where was I? Um, number six, your hearing will be greatly influenced it will get to such a state that you will hear the music of the celestial realms. And maybe that's what's happening because a couple of weeks ago, I went to pick up my daughter and her boyfriend. I flew them down from New York uh, to spend a week here in Florida. And they both used the, the vape, the vape. So we, had, we went to one of the vape stores and bought them some vape juice or whatever you call it. And uh, now it's funny because when Brittany and I play music trivia, she knows all this other music, but she's not really well versed on hair bands and 80s hard rock. And whenever I ask her who's playing this song, it might be Def Leppard that's playing. She'll go ACDC, Aerosmith, Metallica, Guns N' Roses. Those are her constant answers. She doesn't matter what, what song's playing. Those are her answers because she really doesn't know. Anyway, so we go into the vape store and the song Thunderstruck was playing by ACDC. I go, Britt. Who's playing? She goes, well, what? I don't, I don't hear it. Because it was on really, really low. And it was like in the back room. I go, what do you mean? You, you don't hear it. And she, I, I don't hear it. I said, well, just guess anyway. She goes, ACDC. I go, you're right. <laughs> so I don't know if this leaking has something to do with hearing better. but Or it seems like it would be the antithesis. But it's actually, you know, my hearing has gotten much better. Um, so haven't quite heard those uh, celestial realms of the music from the celestial realms yet, but maybe it's getting drowned out by the waves when I go ground at the beach. I don't know. 
So Regina Joseph's talking about vertigo. A lot of us have gone through that too. The stages of vertigo where you just feel like it's almost like if you're not even of this planet at times when you're going through vertigo, you just feel very off balance and everything seems very surreal. I know I had my share of that going on. <laughs> Jillian says I'm glowing. I think that's sweat, Jillian. <laughs> I'm sweating. <laughs> So, okay, let's move on. Uh, number seven, your sleep patterns will change. The way you dream will change as well as dream cycles. So are you guys experiencing that? Uh, changes in your sleep patterns and what you're dreaming about, your dream, dream cycles. Uh, my dreams are always so intense. As I've mentioned before, most of you guys know this, but I have a rare sleep anomaly where I instantly go into the dream stage and I stay there all night, all night. That's all I do is dream. <laughs> so and, and out of all those dreams, I get a lot of really cool ones too. You know, and I found that once, once you do the work, once you release all the fear, there's nothing left to dream about except for something that either hasn't happened or something mundane, like you're walking your dog or something. Um, when you release that fear, you're going to have a lot of futuristic premonitions uh, that you'll see things that, have yet to occur, but will. So you're actually shown things once you've done the work. It's almost like a reward. So, you know, continue working on yourself and you'll have that happen too. <laughs> 222 viewers from Brittany's mother <laughs> is telling me that. Thank you for joining me, Bella. Okay. Tell Brittany I said hi. <laughs> Give her a big bear hug for me. Okay, time, this is number eight. Time will become very slippery. Um, and I'm not sure specifically what she means by slippery, but as if, I'm guessing you're slipping in and out of time. That's, that's what I'm picking up off of it. So um, yeah, I'm sure a lot of you have experienced that. I have myself where, you know, if someone asks you what day it is, you really have to think about it. You know, what's the day, what's the date? My answer is hell if I know. <laughs> you're asking the wrong person I try to live without time you know and that's what uh, Jose Arguez the late Jose Arguez talked about when he said uh, when he visited the Lord Pacal's tomb in Mexico one of the most important lessons he learned was that we need to live without time as much as possible so you know try to live with you'll never see me wear a watch never ever 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 no watches um, and I you know I try, I try not to think even about what day it is or the date on anything. Of course, you know, I, I put myself in a little box saying, okay, I'm going to have a Facebook Live at 1 o'clock. But I, once this is over, I'm taking myself out of that box, and I'm just going to completely forget about time again as well. So I recommend it. If you can live without time, even if you only have like a day off or a weekend off or something like that, live without time for that weekend, okay? Number nine. You will have issues with concentration and processing a thought. Well, I, uh, I'm kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, actually, no, I haven't really had that, but um, I can understand how, you know, you get so, so many things that are going on at once and timelines are changing, merging, feeling, feeling like you're going in between two worlds. This is what I found, though. I did have at one point ADHD and I was given Adderall for it and it did make a huge difference. It's not a fictitious, um, it's not a fictitious diagnosis. Um, as a matter of fact, like on the back of every report card in grade school, it said the same four words, fails to pay attention. <laughs> Cause it was all hot air and bullshit that I felt like it was boring as hell and being in school. And I barely got out of high school. I, was, I barely made it into college. And I got into yeah, uh, college. My parents picked out my, my uh, major, which was business administration. How boring. I ended up joining a fraternity, <laughs> partied my ass off, flunked out miserably three times <laughs> before I ended up saying, screw it. I'm just going to play in a band in the, in the 1980s. And that's what I did. But it was incredibly boring. 
Um, but the point is, is about um, you know, fails to pay attention. What happened was after watching The Secret, that was the big thing that that was like the highlight of my life. And I can thank Bella and my daughter for leading me to The Secret. And if it wasn't for Brittany, this would never have happened. But The Secret helped me clear my mind and made me realize what's important in life. And what was important to me at the time was I was a huge sports fanatic. I, I have a, it's a photographic memory, but it's selective. Like I can look at the stats on the sports page and tell you who's third in the American League in batting, who cares? Or who's second in the uh, National League in doubles and how many there are. I just look at the stats and memorize them. Well, I stopped doing that. And once I cleared the, all the clutter in my brain, I found that my brain was cleared and centered. So if you have a lot of clutter going on, if you're remembering useless crap that will never do you any good, like most of what we learn in school, get rid of it. <laughs> so what's funny about the Adderall too, I could take, this is, I think I had to go through that experience to show me that I'm not wired the same as most people. You know, number one, I had the sleep disorder where I instantly go into the dream stage and stay there all night. I had a sleep study done where they hooked up all those electrodes all over me and determined that. And number two, the uh, Adderall, you know, Adderall is a stimulant, it's an amphetamine. So when you take it, it should bring you up. I could take an Adderall and within an hour, within an hour go to sleep. I'm not wired the same as, as everyone, as normal society. So when you look at certain things like, like your cholesterol level, okay? And it's supposed to be, what is it now? 175, you know, years back, it used to be two, 250 or something like that. That varies for everyone. There's probably healthy people out there that have a cholesterol of 350. And uh, there's probably people that are ready to have a heart attack with a cholesterol of 120. You know, so each person's different. We're all wired differently. And figure out how and why you're wired differently. And you'll start getting the answers uh, that you're not from here. <laughs> okay, moving on. Number 10, there will be memory issues to deal with. Some will be affected with short-term memory issues and others with long-term. Okay, there you have it. So that time will tell. Uh, number 11, everyone will be affected with losing time from moment to moment and not remembering why they entered a room or where they're even going in that moment. You know, you always try to live in the now, but imagine that as realities are changing every millisecond imagine if that speeds up the process and keeps going quicker and quicker and quicker where you're in and out of all these realities so fast i could see that happening number 12 there will be dizziness and vertigo to deal with you will begin to question yourself to see if you're having alzheimer's and number 13 you will become chronically fatigued for no reason in the blink of an eye in the middle of the day hell yeah <laughs> Yeah, I, I find myself, you know, having to take that that nap and the eyelids are real heavy and you just feel this like warm energy coming over you that is like, all right, time to sleep. <laughs> and then, you know, we all take our naps and we do our work on the other side of the veil. So, you know, even when we're sleeping, we're still doing our work. And we're getting lots of confirmations in the chat on all of these, and I'll be posting this on the um, N5D YouTube channel as well for as long as that channel stays up. You know, who knows with what's going on with YouTube. So these waves of energy, you know, I've heard all the interviews that there were about everything was supposed to happen in March. I never got that. You know, when I, when I get messages from either my third eye or from Creator Source, there's never been a date. I have no idea because I know that I know that timelines are changing every millisecond. Why would they give me a date? So, yeah, you know, like the three waves, those, those three tidal waves, I know those are just waves of energy, but I wasn't given the date of when, and you'll know specifically when two converge. And then that flash of light, that white flash of light that floods the planet, that's just going to happen instantaneously. When? I don't know. But I know many other people have had that since I, I started talking about that. And you know, I, I just love the confirmation that other people are experiencing the same things. 
and that same feeling of the unconditional love to a magnitude you can't describe. The example I give on that is, you know, as much as I love my daughter, I love my daughter more than anything else on this planet, but as much as I love her, it's at least a million times stronger, that feeling of unconditional love that you'll feel when this white light floods the planet. So my love for my daughter pales from that white light, unconditional love that you're all gonna feel. It's amazing. And uh, at that point, you know, there's, you don't give a rat's ass about money, politics, religion, whether your boss is an asshole or whether you hate your job and all that crap, none of that stuff exists anymore. So, and that's gonna tear down the whole matrix too, because the matrix can't exist in that kind of unconditional love energy. It all collapses at that point. So, like I said, if you're not feeling any of these symptoms, then just start paying attention more to your body because your body will always tell you the truth. Your body never lies. You know, for example, if you have like, um, if you have heartburn, your body's not telling you take a Pepsi AC or a Rolaids. It's telling you bump up your alkaline. Okay. And you'll be fine. Okay. Listen to your body. Your body will always tell you the truth. So I don't know. Do we have any more questions going on here? I'm not seeing any, so I'm going to leave it off at that. I'm so grateful that everybody joined me um, today and on every one of my other Facebook messages. I just want to say hi to everyone that's joining me, whether it's on the recorded version or the live version right now. Um, remember to um, subscribe to N5D. Uh, just jump on there, subscribe to the emails, and you won't miss a thing. Also, make sure that you go on to your favorite social media websites, alternative social media websites, and find N5D there, um, because I have joined all these. I'm looking at other places to make sure that we stay connected, you know, bringing, bringing star family together and like-minded souls. You know, that's part of my, my mission here is uh, to work with a number of major soul groups to uh, bring us all together. So I'm going to leave off at that. Namaste, everyone. I'm so grateful that you all joined me, and uh, we'll be in touch again. Stay tuned.